Hey, my people, this life not it day inside though. Now, person when you don't know, now they feel say this life now you own. Make una go see what it happened to our Nollywood actress, Omotola Jalande Ekende. We all know say this Nollywood actress. Now, one actress any be say she don't entertain us where she don't act movie if not for love. Anyone if not for Christ, she day inside. When this news break the internet today, I say God. Now make when I see this life, when I no go see some Nollywood actors and actresses again, people go they ask, ah, where yeah, they day? What did they happen to them? So I'm going to say they don't go into business. No, no, say something deep, they happen to these people. Something really serious, they affect these people's life. My people, according to the news, when it come out today, they say actress or mortal Jalade Ekende shares testimony after life-saving surgery. This one are today they post on the 29th day of November 2024. Ah, this one is so sad though. But we thank God say she did her life. My people, make a carry on enter the video now. Make we see what they talk about what it happened to our beautiful Hollywood actress, Omotola Jalade Ekende. But before we go read them the way it be, I beg if not your first time here and you never subscribe. What are you doing? Well, subscribe to this very good channel. And for my returning subscribers, Uncle, may God bless all of Una. They see what they, una they do for this channel. I continue to love every one of Una. My people, with that being said, oh yeah, now nah, make could carry Joko. Make we sit down, carry our cook and popcorn. Balance, because it be like, say this one. It go long, so more the way we go tell you and come, they explain and they give Una for inside this video. According to the news, the contour can say, Nigerian actress Omotola Jalande Ekende, fondly known as Omo Sexy, has thanked God following a life threatening health scare that left her battling for survival. In a Thanksgiving post shared on Instagram, the veteran actress recounted an harrowing experience detailing how she underwent emergency surgery after. Enduring severe back and chest pain, persistent vomiting, and debilitating stomach discomfort. Omotola revealed that our day began while she was busy working on her films and attending the academic voting member screening of Gladiator. Hmm. Despite her enthusiasm for the event, she struggled to remain upright during the screening as her symptoms worsened. Hmm. The actress, who's, who described her recovering as a fight for her life, used the moment to reflect on the importance of gratitude and the fragility of life. Indeed, my people, life is really fragile. Now, those when you don't know, now go to carry on for it. Life is really fragile. Hmm. They go continue to say the actress, who described her recovery as a fight for life, sharing a video she wrote. Happy Thanksgiving. Please join me as I thank God for life and good health. So, my first caption didn't post, and this is another not as passionate as the first one. Ah, hmm. You can continue. Have you been told by a doctor there is nothing more we can do at this time, and you still feel like you are dying? Hmm. As you know by now, I had been getting my films ready and after the day edit, edit, I proceeded for the academic voting members viewing of the Gladiator 11. <laughs> but all through the viewing, I could not sit up. You see, I had been rushed to the E&E &E twice that week already for back share pains that would come intensively and leave the next day. The doctors were checking for my na high blood pressure and intense acid influx. On the second admission, the doctor gave all the drips, blood work, and sent me on to manage. Luckily, it left. However, after the movie, I knew there would be no talk with Denzel or Ridley Scott today. I needed to go. I threw up all night till there was nothing to throw up anymore. Guys, hmm, this life is fragile. Oh. By morning, the most philopidating stomach pain started, and so I was rushed again to emergency the third time. This time, I was wheeled in straight for a CT scan, ultrasound, and the MRI. 
The, then the doctor came in and said, you have to go in immediately for surgery to remove your blood bladder it was so dilated the doctor wondered how i was not in more pain more pain hmm so the fight for my life began and today i'm returning to give all the glory to god so on this day whether you are in the u.s or not there is so much to thank god for take some time to join in and give thanks not only the gift of life, but the gift of good health, the gift of a complete body or a sane mind to even dream of a better day. Guys, to be honest, eh, this thing when Motola Jaladi talks so my people, some of us are taking it for granted. Some of us don't know how to appreciate God. Some of us don't know what God has done for us. Some of us don't understand the battles many unseen battles that god has been fighting for us we take them for granted we just feel like oh it is our right not until we say things like this we will not remember that indeed it is not our right it is by the mercy of god it is by the grace of god that we are not consumed and I pray that that grace will continue to be with every one of us. That grace shall continue to abide with us. The mercy that we need for God to continue to protect us. That mercy shall not elude us in the name of Jesus. Like I don't know whoever that is listening to this video today. If you are hearing the sound of my voice. I want you to know that it is good to give thanks to god even in the bible it says that we should pray without ceasing so you don't need to have a reason to celebrate you don't need to have a reason to thank god i just want you to thank god wherever you are right now whatever situation you might be facing this minute that is another person's prayer point so thank god for life and not just only life or for good health for sound mind for sane mind because there are some people who are alive today they don't have good health some people who are alive today they have good health but they don't have sanity i pray that god in his infinite mercy we grant every one of us our heart desire and god will continue to protect and provide and uplift us in the name of jesus my dear brethren at this minute I know say some of them are going to say, ah, what's happen? What's happen? Lady J is just the pray. Yes. Sometimes he gets a kind of thing, so we'll go see. We're not going to know what they do, but to the pray. Anyways, my people, I'm so happy. Thank God for our life. I will see you now for my next one. Bye-bye.